Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd share with you my entire sunglasses collection. It's been a while since I've done one of these and I don't think much has changed in my collection, but I think I did break one pair and lose one pair. So um, if anything, my sunglasses collection has shrank, not grown <laughs> since the last time. So I'm gonna get started with um, a pair that I wear probably the most often out of any sunglasses in my collection. These are from Key Australia. These are the uh, Desi Perkins sunglasses and I have this particular pair in the um, black fade. These are the ones that I wear like all the time so my apologies if there are any fingerprints on them. I just find these kind of work with everything. I love that they really don't have any um, particular color hardware or metal hardware. It's just like black so kind of goes with everything. I don't have to worry about throwing them on. Um, they never look kind of too sporty or too dressy or too basic. They're just a really nice, simple, easy to wear sunglasses that always make me feel good when I throw them on. So yeah, they are dirty. My apologies. My next pair are the same glasses from Key in the kind of mirrored lenses. I am considering selling these. I kind of find that when I put on these mirrored lenses, it reminds me of Bono or something. I feel like a fly. Um, so I don't end up wearing these ones quite so much and in fact I think I've only worn them like maybe one or two times so yeah definitely something that I may be selling on my Poshmark account soon and by the way I just wanted to mention on here that um, I recently was contacted by Poshmark they took down a bunch of my listings of perfumes that were uh, used because apparently you cannot sell used perfumes on there which I never knew I've sold a ton and I have bought a ton and I've um, actually still see lots and lots of others out there selling them. So I just thought I'd let you know that I have moved my fragrances over to um, Mercari. My account over there is at a little bit Laura as well. So you can find me there if you're interested in anything, but I will keep my Poshmark account open for other things. I don't know what the deal is with that, but just wanted to share for anyone who may be interested. And my last pair of key sunglasses, these are actually called the high key. I forgot to say that um, I said Desi Perkins. She was, I guess, the collab for these sunglasses but uh the name of the style is high key and these are um in the kind of just black lenses that i really like i don't love these as much i tend to wear the black fade ones all the time but i do like these because they're a little bit more understated and so on occasion i will just throw this pair on instead and next up i have a few pairs of sunglasses from key australia from the after hours collection these ones came in this cute little pouch and this is what they look like. These ones are in a sort of brown tortoise and I love these. These are just super oversized and really fun. They definitely dress up my outfits, something I love to wear when I'm throwing on like a maxi dress or any type of summer dress. I just think they're super cute and definitely a style that I get a ton of use out of. Next up, I have the same sunglasses in black. Love these. These are kind of my go-to. I love a good black oversized sunglasses look, like I said, when I'm getting up a little bit more dressed up. And my last pair are the matte black um, after hours sunnies. And I love wearing these ones to the pool or when I'm going to the beach or anytime I'm gonna be near water. Made of like a matte, almost rubbery material. So they are really great for when you want to not worry about your sunglasses getting wet and they are absolutely adorable. Next up, I'm gonna get into some of my Ray-Ban sunglasses. I would say of all of my sunglasses, Ray-Ban remains one of my favorite brands. And um, one of my favorite pairs from Ray-Ban are my Club Masters. These are in black with gold and really cute. Just a pair that I forget to wear sometimes, but I've been wearing them a lot recently and they just, again, kind of elevate any outfit. My next pair of Ray-Bans are my Aviators, and um, this may be the last pair I have. I broke one pair, I lost another pair, and th these are the ones that remain. These are in kind of a gunmetal color with um, the green lenses. They are just a really simple, easy to wear. Um, I wear these when I'm kind of dressed a little sporty, if I'm doing something when I, you know, I'm not super dressed up. These seem to work with that uh, kind of look, and I also just wear them when I am dressed up. I wear them kind of all the time. Uh, this is probably my second most worn style of sunglasses in my collection and I absolutely love them. Next up I have my Ray-Ban rounds. These are in the black with the green lenses and I love these. These are really super cute and I love that that little bar goes 
right across where I've got my little 11s right there. Um, they're just a really cute pair of sunglasses, something that I wear again, uh, both for when I'm dressed up a little bit more casual or when I am dressed up um, to go out in the evenings, really doesn't matter. They're super fun glasses, ones that I love to wear when I'm doing anything outdoors and I just love these sunglasses. My next pair of Ray-Bans are the Ray-Ban Rounds. These are the um, gunmetal kind of plain, simple ones that I can wear just about for anything, very easy to throw on. And another style that I love and ones that kind of just work perfect with everything. Uh, these are ones that I used to have in several different colors. I ended up selling quite a few of them because I just wasn't wearing them quite as much as I was wearing my aviators, but um, still have this pair and absolutely love them. And I do have one more pair of Ray-Bans, but I can't seem to find them. I think they may be in my gym bag in my car, but they are the Ray-Ban Wayfarers, just the classic black Wayfarers, absolutely love those. And I tend to wear those quite a bit when I'm wearing like a hat and I'm going to the gym because they just fit on my head really well under a hat. Um, so I think that's where they are right now, but just wanted to let you know I still have those. Next up is another sunglass brand that I absolutely love or a brand that I absolutely love. Everything she does, this is Anina Bing and I have several pairs of her sunnies. Um, I believe these were one of my more recent purchases. These are the Indio, I believe that's the name of them, sunnies and they look like this. They're a really nice kind of modern looking black, simple kind of squared sunglasses. Um, just love the style of these. They definitely have more of an edge than a lot of the other sunglasses in my collection and um, definitely super cute. My next pair of sunnies from Anina Bang are these. They kind of look like my black wayfarers, a little bit different, a little bit more rounded and softer edges. Um, really love these glasses and these were the first ones I picked up before she even started kind of branding her glasses. There's no branding on them, but I did pick them up um, at the Anita Bing store. I love them when I was in Los Angeles many years ago. They're really, really cute and um, definitely an old style. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to find them online to put a link, but uh, I will uh, try to find something similar if I can. But these are just really, really cute and probably one of the most um, comfortable pairs of sunglasses in my collection. And my last two pairs of sunglasses from Anina Bing are the same style in different colors. These are the Larchmont sunglasses that um, you can only find now on the resale market, but these are like one of my favorite pair of sunglasses of all times. They kind of reminded me of the Celine kind of butterfly style glasses, but I tried those on and they're just like a little bit too wide on my face. These ones fit me a lot better and I just absolutely love them. These are in the um, black color and I also have them in tortoise, which I will show you next. And here are the tortoise ones. And what I love about these is not only the tortoise print, I love any sunglasses with tortoise print, but I love that um, the little arms on them are black. And so it gives it a little bit something extra. And I just find these to be so, again, super cute, something I use to dress up my outfits and definitely add a lot of style. And I just love them. And my apologies again for the landscapers. I hear them outside again. It seems like this always happens when I am filming lately, um, but I am on my last brand here to talk about, and that is Celine, one of my favorite brands for so many things, including sunglasses. And my favorite pair is in my hands here. Um, these are the Baby Audrey sunglasses, and I have them in the color black. And I picked these up quite a few years ago when they were still available on the Celine website. Um, I know they went down and then someone told me they had either re-released them. I don't know if they're the same style, um, at like exactly the same style as before, but uh, these are just a really great shape sunglasses that are not super huge. I love, these are the baby Audrey's. I would imagine at one time there was an Audrey pair, but love these. They're just like a really simple little bit of a rounded cat eye that um, are really simple. Something I love to wear. I wore these on our trip to Paris and um, I just felt like they were so Parisian chic with everything I was wearing. They're just super cute. Um, and I love them so much that I have them of course in another color. So these are the Baby Audrey's in the tortoise print, and I love these just as much, if not more. I've been finding myself wearing this particular pair more lately. I'm not really sure why, but um, it's just, you know, sometimes I go back and forth, my tastes change, and for whatever reason, I am really into tortoise shell right now, and I absolutely love these glasses. And my last two pairs of sunglasses from Celine are kind of a larger and smaller version of 
what was, I believe, called the cat eye glasses. They look like this, or the square cat eyes. Um, these ones have like a tortoise on the bottom and they're almost like a black fade with black arms on the sides. I love them. They're super cute and ones that I get a lot of use out of when I want something a little bit more oversized. And finally, my last pair of sunglasses are the other sort of square um, cat eye minis from Celine that I purchased uh, quite a few years ago. Not sure if these are even still available, but um, I love them. These ones are just a little bit smaller, a little bit more comfortable. They do fit my face a lot better, but I really like um, the sort of exaggerated um, oversized sunglasses look sometimes when I'm a little bit more dressed up and feeling confident enough for them. But um, yeah, these ones I tend to just wear, you know, going out anywhere when I'm driving. I used to leave them in the car all the time. I stopped doing that because someone told me, you know, too much heat, especially here in Florida, not good for your sunglasses. So I stopped doing that. Um, but I do tend to take these around with me quite a bit and they are super comfortable and super cute. So that is everything I have in my sunglasses collection at this time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about anything I talked about, please leave it in the comments below. I will do my best to find um, the style names and information that I can leave down in the description box um, for anyone who may be interested in any of these products. Otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you soon in my next video and have a great day.